Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to make a scrolling table using the scroll bar. So, first of all, to insert a scroll bar in our Excel worksheet, we need to have a developer section in our Excel uh, ribbon. So, as you can see, we can see it now. And to make, a, to make it visible for us, we need to go to the Excel preferences. So the, as I am using the Mac, if you are using Microsoft, you need to go Excel and Options section. Uh, in this screen, I'm going to choose Ribbon and Toolbar. And from this section, I'm going to choose Developer and save it. So, as you can see, now I have a developer section in my ribbon. To insert a scroll bar, I go to developer section. So, you see that I have several forms. If you are using Microsoft, you'll see that there's an insert section uh, under developer section. Press insert and then you'll see that there's a scroll bar and choose it and press anywhere in your uh, in, in your Excel worksheet. So now I have my scroll bar. I would like to you can play around with its shape. I would like to make it in this way. Okay, now my scroll bar is ready to use. And let's go to the uh, Let's make a right click and format control. And in control section, this is the properties of scroll bar. And there are several uh, controls that we can change. So I will set the minimum value to 1. And I will set the maximum value to 16. And I am going to increase it by 1. And I need to choose one of the cell. And then enter. And then let's say OK. Now I have a scroll bar. I linked my scroll bar to this cell and I increase the number by one up to six up to sixteen. So this is my scroll bar. The question is how we can make a make it interactive with this data set. So let's go to header section and copy the header section of my data and I am going to paste it here and control V. Let me move my scroll bar here. Okay, this is my header. Now I am going to uh, write my code here. I need to get the data from here and I need to link this to the scroll bar. So I am going to use offset formula from Excel. In offset formula we have references columns and rows and columns and these are optional. First of all we need to define the reference. Okay as this is the number column I'm going to choose this one and comma and as a row number I'm going to choose this cell where I linked to scroll bar and I am going to lock this cell using dollar sign and comma and finally I have column section I am going to make it zero because it will be on this column and then press enter so we get the data from uh, my data set now let's copy the formula we have written the we have written here to other cells. So it's all up to you how many rows you would like to show to the users. So let's say that I have five rows and now I would like to apply the function we have written here to these columns and from this little corner drag it and copy the cells to other columns as well. Let's make it to other cells number of units and total amount 
okay my column is ready so to check it if it's really linked to scroll bar yeah it's working it is working the question you may ask here is that if I copy this scroll bar and paste it to my dashboard is it gonna still work the question the answer is no so it's not gonna work when you just copy and paste it here so and to do that let's copy this cell this header and let's pa let's paste it here and this is my header I am going to copy copy the scroll bar as well and I'm going to paste it to my dashboard so I have a scroll bar and these are my headers now in this cell I need to type my function again let me make it bigger uppercase letter offset open a brackets for the reference I need to choose the reference in my data set, data set excel sheet so I am choosing this and pressing enter okay so it gets the a1 cell from scroll bar uh, scroll bar excel sheet because this is the name of my excel sheets now I need to put this cell as row number here again it this is the name of the page and this is the name of the column and it's locked by uh, dollar signs and we don't need to lock this cell and comma and finally my column number is zero and close the bracket and press enter now I'm going to copy this cell to other cells and it all up to you how many rows you would like to show in your scrolling table in my case I am showing six rows and apply the function to all other sets you already know how to do it and this is my scrolling bar you see that it's not working it is pointing to the F1 F2 cell right and let's make a right click on it and then right click format object in the control section you see that this is linked to this cell however we need to link this to the F2 in our scroll bar excel sheet right and to do that we need to type the name of our excel sheet scroll bar and exclamation mark this is the thing that we need to insert to point this to the f2 cell that is located in my scroll bar excel sheet so then say okay now as you can see my scrolling table is interactive with this scroll bar let's make it elegant and fit it to my table yes this is my dashboard and this is my scrolling table with a scroll bar that's it